most of the ten plagues happen in this week's portion of Aira. About the second plague, the plague of frogs, the Medrash writes that this was the worst plague which really decimated the Egyptians. You have to understand how so. It wasn't the first plague, it wasn't the last plague. And as far as severity of punishment and harshness, it didn't seem that bad. So what was the meaning behind the Medrash? The purpose of the Ten Plagues was not only to punish the Egyptians, but was to show the greatness of Hashem. The Egyptians believed that they did not need the Almighty. They recognized the existence of an Almighty, but it didn't reign in Egypt, and therefore they looked at the Nile as being their source of livelihood. Everything in the world has a purpose somehow relating to people. Either people will use them, like food or for clothing, or these things will hurt people, like lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Frogs do not neither of those. Frogs really have nothing to do with people at all. It was specific this plague that showed the Egyptians that their God, that they believed as their source of livelihood, could be in turn a way of plaguing them with these creatures that have nothing to do at all with people. We say that the purpose of the plagues was to show God's greatness. With the ensuing coming of the Mashiach, we're not going to have plagues such as we did when we left Egypt. We're not going to need any type of signs or wonders to be dictated by an individual to show that Hashem is great. But it says in the Rambam that the world will be filled with the greatness of God as the water fills the seas. You should merit it soon. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.